Hey there, welcome to Let's Play Guitar. Today we are checking out how to play Wasn't Expecting That by Jamie Lawson. I just heard it and it's um, really fun to play on the guitar. So you put a capo on the 6th fret and uh, you're ready to go. So let's see how to play it. Let's see how to play the main riff first, uh, which goes on for almost the whole song. This is the chorus, I believe. So use a C chord and you do a hammer on with your middle finger on the second fret on the fourth string. Okay? So it's gonna be like this. Now you can play the song with a pick. I like to play it with my fingers. Now he uses his fingers as well. So if you play it with a pick, you know it gives you a very bright tone with the pick. So it's better to use your fingers. So I'm gonna use my thumb predominantly to use the strum and he uses his thumb as well so what you want to do is do the down strum with and do the hammer on on the C chord so you do down down up down and the down the end is on like a mute so what you want to do is you strum and at the same time you keep your palm over the strings like this so you do down down, up, down on the mute and then another up, down, up. Now this up, down, up I'm doing with my thumb lightly. Okay, so down, down, up, mute, up, down, up. Down, down, up, mute, up, down, up. You can do it with your pick as well. Down, down, up, mute, up, down, up. Okay, so I'm using my fingers over here, down, down, up, mute, up, down, up. Then you change the chord to E minor. And again, again do a hammer on. Now you can use your, just leave out the hammer on and straight away go to the E minor. But he does with the hammer on. So you can, you know, do both of uh, the frets, second fret and second fret on the fifth and fourth strings. Like this. And the right hand will remain pretty constant, the same, so. Okay, so you go down, down, up, down, up, down, up. Then E minor, down, down, up, down, up, down, up. Then A minor 7. Okay, so for A minor 7, it looks like a C chord. Um, your first fret on the B string and your second fret on the fourth string. Okay, so till now you have, I turn my light off so you can see uh, my left hand better. So down, down, up, down, up, down, up, E minor, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, then E minor 7, down. Now again here you can do a hammer on or you can just go straight to A minor, but I've seen him doing with the hammer on, so you can do that as well. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up. So you get and then the next shape that you have is over here. So you keep your ring finger on the third fret of the top string and leave the first finger where it is on the first fret of the B string. Okay, this is your fourth shape. So here you do the same thing, but you want to make sure that you hit um, the top string you know separately. You want to get that note so you, you can just on the first down strum you can actually hit the sixth string so down 
down, up, down, up, down, up. So you get overall down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up. Okay. And the next chord is like an F major. Uh, but the only difference is that you don't have your uh, middle finger over here. You keep the third string open. Okay, so here, third fret, third fret on the fifth and fourth strings, and first fret on the B string. Okay, I don't know what this exactly this chord is called, but we're just gonna call it like an F for now because you can use an F, but he doesn't use his middle finger on on um, third string over there. So you do the same thing. Okay, down, down, up, down on the mute, and then up, down, up. So till now, from the beginning, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then you want to move to this shape. Now here, you have your ring finger on third fret of the top string and have your middle finger on the second fret of the fifth string okay and I've seen him keeping his pinky finger where it is on the F chord it was over here on the third fret of the fourth string so he doesn't remove that okay so if you want you can remove that and keep this one open but he likes to keep it over here okay so whatever this chord is called this is the shape that you have okay and yeah right here you got your first fret as it is so okay so you do same thing okay so from the beginning now And then to the, the very thing that we did on the beginning, like a C chord. The difference is now he plays C this way. You have your ring finger over here. You keep it on third fret of the top string now. And you keep your pinky finger where it, this, the ring finger was. Okay, so on, this is the C major still, but you got, you know, the third note on the top string as well. All right, and do the same thing over here with a hammer on okay so that completes your um, chord progression but in the end you have a little that I will go to later first let's just review what we've learned from the very beginning Okay, and then in the very end, so here you have your fifth string open and sixth string third fret. So you can either just play the fifth and sixth string like this, the bass notes, or you can do, you know, you keep your ring uh, middle first string where it was and just do the strumming thing going on. So you will have bass note down up and then bass note again, down up again. That completes your main chord progression for the chorus. Now, if you don't want to do this you know, in the very end, you can just continue doing your two times. So you can do this two times, the C chord. Or, so he does this sometimes, and sometimes he goes, you know, and sometimes he just keeps it on the C chord. And then repeat. Okay, so that's your choice over there. So, Reading it, you know it. Uh, you just just follow with the song, and then comes this part. 
okay so this part i'll tell you the, the lines when it comes during the lines i thought love wasn't meant to last i thought you were just passing through you know those lines the cause changed i thought love wasn't meant to last That you were just passing through you know there the chords change so what you want to do is you essentially want to play a D minor chord okay so you can play the D minor chord if you don't want to go over there it keeps it keep things simple just be around this area then you can you know you can play your D minor chord first fret all the, over here second fret on third string and third fret on the B string but what he does is okay so here your middle finger is now I'm not sure about this but I think this is this is what he's doing because it sounds pretty close to that so here you have your middle finger on fifth fret of the third string okay and you have your ring finger on sixth fret of the B string now the frets are related to the capo so one two three four five six so sixth fret and fifth fret and leave this one open okay something like this or you can use D minor if you want so here you just keep your same strumming and you can over here you know you can bring your thumb actually on um, the fifth fret of the top string okay so that's not necessary you can just use that if you want so here you do the same thing so do it two times okay so down down up down up down up down down up down up down up okay so once again down down up down up down up down down up down up down up so i thought love wasn't meant to last so here you go to e minor okay down down up down up down up do it just once because then you have to change the chord so down down up down up down up and then next time you change the chord to like an e7 chord so you here you have your um index finger on the first fret of third string and your middle finger where it was already on the second fret of the fifth string you can actually use an E major over here but um, you want to keep this one open okay so from the beginning you got your um, D minor twice move to E minor for one time and then change to E7 Okay, so from the beginning, love was meant to last. Then you move to F major. Now here he uses a proper F chord, not this one. Okay, so use a proper F chord with your middle finger on the second fret of the third string. And this where it is, third fret, third fret, first fret. Okay, here you do once, down, down, up, down, up, down, up. And then you move to like a G shape. Um, here you have your ring finger on um, third fret of the top string and middle finger on the second fret and leave this one where it was. Okay. From the beginning, E minor, E minor seven, F, like a G, and then back to C with the hammer on twice okay so one more time okay so once more slowly down down up down up down up 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 and then down down up down up down up down down up down up down up then C down down up down up down up again down down up down up down up now for the next lines you go to A minor instead of D minor you move to A minor chord so first fret on the B string second fret second fret on fourth and third strings so here you go the same strumming Two times move to E minor two times move to F chord 
again two times so and then you go to remember this shape over here just your third note on the top string and your first note on the B string okay and you continue playing this so two times and then you want to change it to this shape so you bring now the third fret the second fret on the fifth string and you bring now the ring finger on third fret of the fourth string okay so you remember this shape we also use this in the main chord progression so you do this two times and then you change to the main chords okay so one more time Again, and then so it's about this one. Wasn't expecting that. And then you go to your main chord progression again. So one more time from the beginning. Go to your main thing or just be on the C chord all right and then you do this one more time um, you can you can figure out the pattern by yourself you know I'm just showing you the different parts of the song so you got this one again and then I think you could, he goes back to this this one Okay, and the whole thing, and then you go back to the, the main riff. So, two parts we have covered, the two parts of the song, the main chord progression, and then the one that starts from over here. Then the bridge comes, okay? So for the bridge, there's a change in chords again. Okay, so this bridge now, I'm calling it the bridge. It goes something like this. back to your main chord progression so what we're doing is now on the live version you know he's doing a lot of improvisations over there and those are like completely spontaneous you know he, as he's going with the song so I've tried to simplify this this part over here okay so what we're doing is you want to use your G note over here now this is not the G note it would be something else C sharp but essentially your G chord if you want to use and you use your all this, these strings are open Okay, and this string is mute with the flesh of your middle finger okay and you mute this one also he mutes this with his ring finger okay by just keeping it over the string so down strum this and then you can you know go up one fret to the fourth fret and then you go to a minor so you do something like this Okay, so one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, go to A minor. One more time. Oh, isn't it strange? And here you can continue with the same strumming, A minor. So. Isn't it strange? How life can change. So two times on the A minor. How life can change. And you go to. F chord okay so F chord proper F chord do it once and then you go, go to your G with the first fret over here just like we've been using for the whole song okay so one more time oh isn't it strange how life can be changed 
once on the G chord and then you go back to your C with the hammer on the normal thing or you can play it like this two times and then you go come do this thing again so from the beginning oh, isn't it strange? F G C one more time do this whole thing one more time So here you do F two times, okay? So F, F again, then the G thing, but on the same shape that we used earlier. Two times, and then you bring your ring finger in, just like we've been doing it. Ring finger in on the third fret of um, the fourth string. Wasn't expecting that. And then you go back to your thing. Okay, so here in the very end, you do two times on the G, then bring your ring over here. He uses this one. Wasn't expecting that. And then sometimes he likes to do this. You know, with the ring over here, do a uh, pull off and then pull off to the open. Okay, so one more time the whole bridge. Wasn't it strange? One more time, two times on A minor, two times on F, two times on the G, bring your pinky, wasn't expecting that. go to your main chord progression. whole thing till you get to the very end and then you close your eyes took my heart by surprise I wasn't expecting that. okay that is the very end of the song so that is it for this tutorial remember again the, the, there are three parts in the song first the main chord progression then this one the whole thing and then this one Okay, those are the three parts if you know all the parts you know where to put them in the song and accordingly you can um, cover the whole song so that's it for this tutorial i hope you liked it make sure to give this video a like uh, because i really appreciate all of your support and uh, subscribe to my channel for more guitar lessons and i will see you guys next time till then goodbye